Hi Kunal, my name is Priya Singh and I am from Interview Preparation Board. So today we are going to conduct your mock interview and this interview will entirely be based on the Baiju's pattern. Okay Kunal, so okay, shall we start the interview? Yes, yes ma'am, I am ready. Okay Kunal, so first of all tell something about yourself. Good, uh, good evening ma'am, first of good all I am grateful. I'm grateful to you for giving me an opportunity to introduce me about myself. Hi, I am Kunal Misra. I am basically from uh, Bihar. Now I uh, stay in Bombay. Uh, I did my graduation in BSc in 2016, uh, in 2016 uh, from Palhan University in Tata. Then I did my BA in 2019. Then after I was involved in teaching field as a, a role of teacher in a school for two years, then I did home tuitions also. So while during, during the home tuitions, uh, uh, I was not getting uh, an opportunity to excel myself in teaching field. So I then I uh, went ahead, I was searching for job vacancy. And then I found that Baiju is the platform where I can excel myself teaching is still. So that's why uh, I have applied for. Then my hobby is singing, dancing, and reading books. Then my abilities are I am good in communication skills. Uh, I have good idea over, uh, good uh, command over my subject. I can pass, uh, and my achievements are I can pass my all these contents knowledge to each and every students in easy way so that they can understand it easily. Then after uh, that uh, my short term goal is uh, uh, that I have to establish in a reputed company, find a job in reputed company. Then after uh, I have to establish a, a well position, my long term goal is I have to establish a well position in a high reputed company where I can also help that company or organization. Then I belong to from a nuclear family in my family along with me. Uh, there is my father and mother and one brother. So that's all about me, ma'am. Okay, Kunal. So you said that you're living in uh, Mumbai currently, right? Yes, ma'am. So why are you living in Mumbai? Um, uh, here I have uh, came for um, uh, Excel myself and for exploring my mind so that uh, my mind will glow, my mind will do more work, my mind will explore in this city. So that's why I came here. And there are lots of opportunities are found here. So that's why due to in search of these uh, opportunities, I have can do. Okay, uh, Kunal. So Kunal, uh, what do you know about Baiju's as a company? Any recent Baiju, news about Baiju's that you are aware of? Ma'am, Baiju is a high educational technical platform, uh, which is which has all the qualities that uh, uh, makes it uh, one of the most leading companies in the field of teaching. And uh, uh, it was founded in 2011 and its founder was Baiju Ravindran and its co-founder was uh, 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 Deepika Gokulna. So they are uh, C's co-founder and it has all the qualities that to max the uh, today's learning very easy and very, uh, easy for the students so that students uh, cannot be considered as a burden, uh, study for burden for them. They can uh, do a study in easy and lightly. So these are all about values. So do you know any four competitors of Baiju's? Yes, ma'am. Grade up, then juniors, mm. uh, uh, then uh, Wi-Fi junior, then uh, toppers, rankers. These are- the, White uh, junior, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then after Vedanta also, so these are the companies that are. So White Junior and Akaz is already now uh, a Baiju's company only. Yes, ma'am. Baiju's has acquired. Baiju's acquired. has already acquired Grade Up and uh, White Junior. Okay. So they are Baiju's company only. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Kunal. Okay. So tell me uh, now. Uh, do you, are you clear with about your job role? Yes, so, ma'am. are you clear? What is your job role? I have to work as an online tutor and I will be responsible for online audio video class for a class of a students 4 to uh, 10. And I have to, uh, as a math teacher, and I have to clarify their doubts on a regular basis. 
and I have to uh, make clear that uh, whether I am creating the positive learning environment and making uh, sure that uh, making the concept of the maths uh, clear to the students. So these are my jobs. Okay. So do you know difference between audio learning and uh, video learning? Can you explain Aud it? Yes, ma'am. Video learning is uh, learning by video. You can uh, learn anything uh, to anyone by uh, presenting it in video. And audio is, uh, you can, uh, learning by speech method is the audio. Okay. So let's move to the next round. Okay. okay so in the next uh, round, you have to present a short verbal teaching demo of yes, mathematics from grade uh, 8 to grade 10 of any uh, topic of your choice. Okay. Yes, so I request you not to use any PPT for this. So you can present okay. the verbal demo. Yes, so you can start Kunal. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm using my own words in style. I can use... Uh, uh, Yes, you Hello can students, use pen and paper also. Learning. You can use pen Hello and students. paper also. Hi students, my name is Kunal Misra and I am Hi, your Baiju's teacher. I am your Baiju's teacher today. Today I am going uh, today I'm going to teach you about number system. What is before teaching you about number system? Let us know what is numbers. Numbers are mathematical tools through which we can uh, add, subtract, multiply and divide any data. So uh, now in this video, we will discuss about uh, type of numbers and we will uh, give detailed idea about it. So among the numbers, the first number is natural numbers. Natural numbers are counting numbers. The numbers which we, from which uh, we start counting are all comes under the natural number. So now question arises, which is the smallest natural number? So we should know about this. So we start counting from one. So one is the smallest natural number. But our counting uh, can never be end. It goes to infinity. So we cannot say which is the largest uh, natural number. So if anyone asks from us, what is the smallest natural number, then we can say that one is the smallest num natural number. But if anyone asks from us, what is greatest natural number, then we will say that we, cannot, we can't find the greatest natural number. Then after the natural number, the another set of number comes, that is whole number. All natural number together with zero. Or in other words, we can say that the numbers starting from zero is whole numbers. So in the same uh, questions arises here, which is the smallest whole number? So we start in this uh, type of numbers, we start counting from zero. So zero is the smallest whole number, but we cannot determine the greatest whole number because here the same logic uh, we can apply that counting can never be ended. So uh, the smallest whole number is zero, but largest whole number can't be found. Now, after that, the another set of number comes that is integers. So integers are numbers that is no, that comes not under the fractional number that cannot be represented in the form of fractions as well as in the forms of decimals. So this is the unique type of numbers which comes under the category of positive natural numbers and negative natural numbers. So the combination of positive natural numbers together with zero and negative natural numbers are known as the integers. Now, in this type of numbers, zero is the number which is neither positive nor negative. So if anyone asks from us, which is the number which is neither positive or negative integer, we will say that zero. So this is all about the integers. Then after another set of number comes, that is rational numbers. So rational numbers is the number of the form that can be represented in the form of P by Q. Yeah, that can be expressed in the form of P by Q where Q and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. But in here, the P should, uh, but Q should not be equal to zero. If Q is equal to zero, then it will be not rational numbers. So after that, another set of number comes, that is uh, rational numbers are of two types. First is positive rational numbers and another is negative rational numbers. So positive rational numbers are those rational numbers in which numerator and denominators both are in pos have positive signs. And negative rational, uh, rational numbers are those rational numbers in which uh, either the numerator or denominator uh, one have the negative signs. Then after that, another set of number comes that is irrational numbers. So irrational numbers is that number which cannot be expressed in the form of P and Q by P and uh, whose decimal expansion is non-terminating, non-repeating. So, uh, okay. Sir, I don't know what is difference between a rational number and a fraction. Can you explain? Yes, 
Fraction is the number which can be expressed in the form of a by b, where a and b are natural numbers, but b is not equal to zero. On the other hand, rational numbers are numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers, and q is not equal to zero. So this is the basic difference between these two numbers. Okay, so Kunal, we are done with this round. Now let us move to the last round. Okay, so this yes, round is a question answer round where I will yes, ask you question of mathematics and you have to okay. answer it. Okay, yes, so the first question is difference between expression and equation. Hence, expressions is a uh, equation is can be any form, but expression can be the uh, type of the expressions can be expression can be expressed in the time of uh, type of expanding the data. So this is basic difference. Okay, so now I'm going to ask a numerical question. So you can use the pen and paper also to solve yes, that. Okay, and while solving, please explain all the yes, steps. Try to explain all the steps. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Kunal, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, the question is a plastic bag, one point yes, five meter long. Yes, ma'am. 1.25 meter wide yes ma'am and 65 centimeter deep yes it's to be made yes ma'am it is opened at the top yes ma'am ignoring the thickness of the plastic seat determine yes, the area of the seat required for making the box so this is the first question the second yes, question is the cost of seat for it if a seat measuring 1 meter square cost rupees 20 Yes, ma'am. Yes, am, am I solving this? I'm solving. Yes, you can solve and while solving, you can explain the steps also. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, in this uh, question, we will apply the formula LB plus 2 into B plus H because in this question, it is uh, told that open uh, top figure is excluded. So we have to apply the formula LB because one, one LB is excluded and two into B plus H, which is the area of the four wall. And after that, we have to find the area. And we know that cost of one area is uh, one meter squared is 20 rupees. And what will be the area? We have to multiply 20 by area. So that will be the answer. This is the logic. Okay, in this okay, okay. Yes, so now tell me the answer after solving it. Yes, ma'am. I have to also answer. Yes, okay, yes. yes. You can take your time. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now I am solving. Yeah, yeah, it's okay.
392.6 meter square will be the area and uh, okay And three nine two point six by five will be rupees will be the answer. Okay. So the next question is, what is constant polynomial? So this is answer, ma'am. Area will be uh, three nine two point six meter square. Mm -hmm. Area will be three nine point two six meter square, and the. Uh, Three nine two point six by five will be the rupees. Okay, so my next question is: What is constant polynomial? Yes, ma'am. Am I audible to you? Yes, ma'am. You are audible. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so my next question is: What is constant polynomial? Constant polynomial is that polynomial whose degree is zero. Whose degree is zero, in which there are no any variable term. An example is five, six, seven. And and that what is, is difference between a sim uh, sample space and a sample point? Sample point is a special point, and sample space is a special space. Sample point has boundation, while on the other hand, sample space has no any boundation. Sample okay, point so can be within the limited, mm -hmm. and sample space cannot be within the limited range. 